I'm Diane with Two Girls Treasure here in Florence, South Carolina. We are located at the PD State Farmers Market. Have you looked at the brand new Iron Orchid Designs Brocant transfer set? It is very French. Even the Eiffel Tower is in there, y'all. This transfer piece is in the Brocant transfer set from Iron Orchid Designs. This is eight 12 by 16 sheets of different, different elements, but I fell in love with this one. We are going to prep. We always, always start with our prep. I have my Rethunk Junk paints out. We're going to blend. We're going to transfer. And we are going to make a French flea market clock on risers, y'all. And we're going to prep both sides because even though we're not going to transfer on both sides i like things finished y'all so if you pick it up you know it is a good job have you seen these iron orchid designs silicone blades y'all have you used them so i used this one recently and it's interesting and it's different because i want to blend snowy day with some timeless teal and I don't want to make a new color I just want the elements in there is I'm just gonna pour some snowy day straight down the center maybe a little bit more you can see the fan blowing my little edges all right I'm just going to take my silicone blade I'm gonna move this paint around now when you're doing this the object of using a silicone blade is not for your paint finish to be perfect. It is for it to have a little bit of extra character. And because we're doing this the way we are, let it have some character. Spread it out and look what you get, a nice little whitewash. How simple was that? Look at the whitewash if you spread the white out. Or you can thicken it up a little bit, spread it smooth. And this is the small blade, y'all. This isn't even the big blade. This is just the small silicone blade from Iron Orchid Designs. And this is our Rethunk Junk Snowy Day. So move it around. Check your edges and your ridges. That's still going to be our number one priority. Don't leave big old paint chunks. Make sure you smooth it. We want that to tack up just a little bit. And I have ridges and I have edges. And y'all know how I feel about that. That's not usually something that I do. I, want, I just want to pour this timeless teal on top. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop some on in a couple of different places. So all my excess paint will go in the container. This blade gives me the opportunity to age and distress my work as I'm going. I can take off as much or as little as I want. I can keep my edges smooth and clean. Put it on an angle, bring it back in. How do I keep it from mixing together when I'm doing this? Because I'm not brush, 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 brushing. These little silicone blades kind of pull the paint over itself. So it's not blending them into another color but it tacked up just enough that when i put the timeless teal over the top and started pulling it it's just the way this thin little silicone movable edge moves the paint see how thin that is and even as big as this is 
it's like a squeegee so it's not blending it's kind of squeegeeing the paint now I'm gonna make sure my edges don't have runs as we let this dry there we go because I'll hit the edges in just a little while all right so we're going to lay down the white first then we'll lay down the red over the top of it so we'll slide these over to the side real quick and let's lay these down this is from the brocon and voila look at those beautiful roses y'all the piece de resistance our clock what do you think All you need in your life is an old cutting board and the brocante transfer. The silicone blades and some rethunk junk paint. This is snowy day and timeless teal. All right, let's come on down, center it. I'm eyeball centering it, y'all. I really am. How about right there? Because I think that's perfect. Oop, tink. How beautiful is that? Y'all, I love this. Isn't that so pretty? Put the clock mechanism on it and hang it to make the most amazing wall clock.